Air Spring Magazine Disassembly Reassembly for the NR1890 DR or DC. To remove the magazine, there's two 4mm bolts in the front, one 4mm bolt in the back. If you have the DR or full round head version, careful not to lose the spacer that goes between the magazine and the housing. That's the full round head version. So once we remove the tool, or remove the magazine from the tool, go ahead and take out the three screws across the top. And then we take this nut off on the back. It's a two, two and a half millimeter. We'll take that one off. Set it off to the side. And now we can, now this will come apart. Take this rail off. That's holding it all together right now. And then carefully remove the top side. From the bottom, you'll see that you have this piece here. This is the lockout, it has a spring on it, and then you have the other one for the feeder. To take that out, go ahead and push it back a little bit. Careful, it's under pressure. Lift it up and then pull it out and take this spring out. Go ahead and clean all this out. Be careful with the, the ribbon spring. You can clean all this off from this side. To replace the ribbon spring, all you gotta do is take this screw out here, takes the handle off, and this whole thing slides off. Be careful with the ribbon spring. It can be kind of sharp. So to put the lockout mechanism back in, we're gonna have to pull the magazine back a little bit. We go ahead and in the upright, so it's like just like this. We're gonna slide it into the hole just like that, so it's standing up, and then lay it down. Lay it down, just like that. Okay, so now it's in, now it's in the track. This spring that goes on it has a bit of tension on it, so put it on the shoulder of that piece, and put it into the slot where it goes, keeping your finger on top of it. Okay? If you want, you can put a little bit of grease on there, it keeps everything in. But there is a little bit of tension on that spring, so keep your finger over the top of it. Now the other piece, this spring here, will go on that shoulder, like so. And then lock in on the back of that plastic piece you just put in. This spring doesn't have as much tension. And then put your finger on it and ease the feeder forward to hold it all in place. Okay? Now the rest of this you can take off and clean out. Take that off. See these circles here go into the circles that are in the magazine. The track can come out and then this metal plate can come out and clean it all out. Make sure this track isn't, isn't up any. If it, if it bends up a little bit, it'll bind the nails. To put it all back together again, just put the track back in all the way to the, to the rear of the magazine. Put this track back in. Like so, so it's into those circles. Lay it down. Carefully turn this over and bring it right on top of your magazine. Like so. If that spring popped out, go ahead and take it back off and reassemble it. At this point, you can go ahead and put these this rail back on. That will kind of hold it all together somewhat. And you can put this bolt back in and just get it started so we don't lose it. There we go, that's started and on there. And then the screws, so you can put the screws in first, you can put the bolt in first either way. Just as long as you don't let the magazine open up, which will allow that spring to come out. It's imperative that you keep these magazines clean, especially the clipped head version. A little bit of silicone spray in there, I clean, clean them out. You can also remove this magazine to clear jams from here. 
but that's how you take it apart, assemble it, just assemble, reassemble, and clean it. Okay? Have a nice day.